What's up, guys? It's Kiku from Neek the Podcast, doing an interview for Polist, our very special comic book episode, and I am here with Stephen Wilcox, manager of TBS Comics here in Pensacola, Florida. Steve, you've worked in Pensacola for TBS for a decade now. Yep, coming up on a decade in August. Um, how'd you get started in comics? Um, I, I started coming to the store playing card games. I've been a comic fan ever since I was a kid. Um, and so the, the whole the whole vibe in the store, the comic books, the card game stuff kind of brought me in. I got to know some of the employees here. I met my wife here. Uh, she actually worked part-time for the store. And so when it came came time that I was open on a job uh, and they were getting some openings, they were like, hey, you want to work a few hours? And that few hours turned into a full-time thing. Nice. So um, basically moral of the story, inner work relationships are a good thing. Yes. Very much so. Okay, awesome. Um, <laughs> How big of an impact has TBS had on Pensacola just itself, you know, being a comic book store? Uh, for being a comic book store, we were one of the few that have hung out. Um, the, the company's been in business for over 30 years. We've been here in Pensacola for over 25. Uh, it's one of the few that still hang, that, that hung around. Uh, we're the largest comic, uh, comic company on the Gulf Coast, so we have a large selection of back issues, new comics and just branch out to other things as we kept going. You guys have a really large presence also at our local convention, Pensacon. Um, you guys had even uh, cosplay girls. Absolutely. Um, we we wanted to make sure that we have the most fun booth because uh, being representing Pensacola, we weren't there just to, to get our names out there. and, just, and, and We were there to get our name out there, not to really sell product. So, of course, we had some, some girls who volunteered for costumes. We had a little phone, uh, photo booth set up for them to be able to take pictures and just kind of let everybody know what, what TBS is like. In a, in a small frame like it is in, the, in a comic book. So, um, with the big boom of comic book movies and TV shows, uh, what has that done for business for the comic book industry? That has been a great thing for the comic industry. We get new people coming in all the time checking out new comics. They've, they've sometimes never heard of these characters before. They know their favorite ones that they've seen before. And so now they, they want to try out what comics is because now they see stories that are coming straight off the comic page and onto the big screen. So they want to be able to relate uh, to, to what us as readers have been reading for a long time and what, what it is that makes these characters so much fun. What, is, what have been some of the more popular characters? Like, uh, I mean, obviously Batman, Superman, you know, Captain America, but from, from the movies, um, have any characters gotten even more popular? From there, we've seen characters like Ant-Man really, really receive a rise in popularity because of the movie. Um, and then Green Arrow for the television show as well. Those characters were never really big stars until until the movies and TV shows were coming out based on these characters. Do you expect to see that kind of rise in com or comic purchases like from when Aquaman comes out or Suicide Squad? Absolutely. Uh, the, the same thing happened with Guardians of the Galaxy. It was a very, very little known group of, group of teens, uh, a very little known team when, uh, when, the, when the movie came out. So all of a sudden they put out more books, and more, ca more character development on those, and more people were coming in because they saw the movie. So we'll definitely see that with like Aquaman really pick up and, and be more similar to the movie where people are coming in from the movie want to see what it is in comics. What um what right now are some of the comics that you want to see like on film like I know Image IDW Publishing has a bunch of stuff um that's really good what what's something you want to see like out there on the screen Oh goodness I read so much stuff right now um I really like characters like uh like Dick Grayson from a uh, um from DC Comics, so bringing that into a, into the Batman angle would be really cool to see. Uh, from the from the image side of things, I've really been enjoying uh, Tokyo Ghost and East to West, so seeing some uh, adaptations of those would be really cool. Tokyo Ghost would be a little hard. I know, a little uh, bit. A little bit. That would uh, definitely be an HBO special, yes. uh, for sure. Um, so right now you've got two big events going on in the comic book world. You've got Civil War II and you've got Rebirth. Yep. Um, Obviously, Rebirth is the more popular of the two series Obviously. right now. It, uh, Rebirth was one that was a, a little bit of a sleeper. A lot of people were, were kind of gun-shy after conversions didn't do all that well, but it changed everything with comics. And so now with Rebirth coming out, you know, we wanted to make sure that you know uh, that we were we were selling the right amount of books, that we weren't uh, weren't getting crazy overages, and then it just blew up. Not only for us, but everywhere. So that's great. New uh, these characters coming back, getting some reinvigoration, coming back to more of the iconic uh, iconic levels that we remember them from. It's going to be great. I really dig uh, Rebirth. As far as for Civil War. It was such a great story for the first Civil War, where you have the two different sides. But this now is is a is a question of morality. It's what you feel that is is the right path on a on a question that 
can go either way. So you really don't know what's coming down the road of whose side's right, and even if, even if the fight continues on, it doesn't prove one side's better than the other. So there's a lot of intriguing story that's going to be going on with that one, and that one I'm, I'm expecting to be a huge game changer towards the end of the summer. So what side are you falling on on Civil War right now? Uh, for Civil War, I'm I'm definitely going with uh, with Iron Man's side on this one. I'm not an Iron Man fan either, I hate to say it, but they, you should not have to punish somebody for something that they haven't done yet. Okay, so you're not a minority report kind no, of guy. No, like definitely the, not. No, no future, you no, might kill somebody. Just like, because somebody can do something doesn't mean they're going to. Okay. Um, in Rebirth, have all the issues been phenomenal, or is it just, you know... Most, like, most of them have been absolutely great. There are just been some that have been true standouts to me. Uh, Detective Comics I thought was amazing, bringing in different characters that they've had throughout the Batman mythos and, and turning them into, into a team that will help um, to protect Gotham from this un unknown... Uh, people who are watching them, that one was absolutely amazing. I, mean, I really loved that one. Uh, and just the, the main uh, reverse storyline, reintroducing the adult Wally West back into it, that things have changed and a mysterious person changing it all for those 10 years that they missed. Oh, I can't wait. Nice, nice. Um, should we expect Shazam? Because that was my favorite in the Dark Side War. Uh, especially when they gave him new god powers, and now all of a sudden it's just like, there's no Shazam. I really would love to see Shazam. Uh, he was one of the characters that make, they made great with the new 52, that he was kind of just floating around, Captain Marvel, a family of kids, and now it's now they've really turned him into something, joining him into the Justice League. Yeah. I'd love to see a full ongoing series for Shazam and see what he can do for that possible mystery man at, uh, at Rebirth. Nice, nice. Um, your, from your own personal mind, if you were going to tell somebody, they came in right now and said, hey man, uh, I want to get into comic books, uh, give me five titles that you know you think or everybody needs to read. Can they all be Batman? <laughs> um, <laughs> no. No. Okay. Um, for you, you definitely want to go with the characters everybody recognizes. So Batman and Captain America have both been really good runs on, on on those books. I've always been a huge fan of X Men, so jumping uh, jumping in on any one of the X books that has a character you know and like, definitely gun help for all that one. Um, the new Superman that's going to be coming post uh, post Rebirth seems really interesting. Um, it's a little, it's a mix of uh, of what has come before and what is going on now. Uh, so that's, a, that's an interesting place to kind of leave yourself with questions, but you don't have to worry about knowing the answers for it. Sure. So jumping in there would be a really great place. Uh, on the independent side, everybody knows The Walking Dead, so Walking Dead is always a good one to kind of jump into. But then we have some really cool standout ones like Black Science and uh, Jupiter Circle that seem to seem to generate a buzz every time they come up with a new issue. Okay, and because I have to ask this because I try to convince everybody to read this, like, how hardcore would you try to convince somebody to read Tokyo Ghost? Oh, God. you got to read Tokyo Ghost. Absolutely amazing book. Steve, I want to thank you for your time. Um, this was amazing. Yeah, uh, awesome. absolutely. We're, we're definitely going to see each other, more of each other, uh, but not in that prison movie sort of way. Um, do you guys have any events coming up? I know you guys uh, here in Pensacola, you have Warhammer in the back all the time. I know you have Magic the Gathering in the back, Pokemon, whatever anybody can do. Yeah, for all our gaming schedule, we have it posted on our website. Any new events or pre-releases come out, we usually post those on there as events so that way everybody can see whenever whenever that stuff becomes available. Keep checking our Facebook page, PBS Comics. Guys, do that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I'm Kiku from the podcast. This is Steve from hey. TBS Comics. If you're here in Pensacola, not here in Pensacola, check them out. And as always, keep it nerdy.